Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the part 2 of the tutorial on how to deploy your TensorFlow or Keras model to the web. So just to give you a short recap, on the previous tutorial, we are able to train our model and deploy it on our local network. So with this link, people will be able to access your software over your local network. However, the members of the public will not be able to access this link because this is not hosted on the internet. So in order to host this program on the internet, we need to use Firebase. So Firebase is a free cloud hosting platform provided by Google. So in order for you to deploy your software on Firebase, you need to have all these prerequisites. So first, you need to have Node.js to allow you to download the relevant packages for you to upload your code to Firebase. And next, you need to have a Firebase account in order to create a project for you to upload your source code to. And lastly, uh, you can follow my GitHub link over here. It contains all the source code that you need to upload to Firebase. So without further ado, let me guide you through the installation and deployment process. So first, uh, go to the Node.js website. So just download the Node.js over here. So it will actually detect your OS automatically and recommend the best version for you. So for myself, I'm using Windows 64-bit. So I'll just download here. So once it's downloaded, you just need to run the software and go through all the steps over here. So after running all the steps over here, because I run this before, so I will just close it. You go to your command prompt and check whether is it installed correctly. So you just need to type node.version. So you'll be able to see your node.js version over here. Okay, so once it's done, let's go to create your own Firebase account. So simply just type Firebase uh, console. So for this to work, you need to have a Google account. So once you enter here, it should be blank. So you can click add project. So here I will say test mass detection. So you can name it any project name you want. So for myself, I will be naming it as this. So just keep continuing. So create project. Okay, so once it's done, I'll click continue. Okay, so what you need to do now is to go to hosting over here and click get started. So previously you already installed this, so you can actually click next. So now you need to initialize your project. So what you need to do is to now is to create your own folder. So you can name it anything. Uh, I will name it as test uh, mass detection. So open this up. Okay, copy this file path and cd into it. After you change your directory, uh, key in firebase login. So as you can see, I have already logged in. So for your case, you need to key in your email and password and you will be able to access this. Okay, so after logging in, type firebase init so that you will be able to initialize your project. So yes. So for our use case, we will be only using the hosting function. So go to here and press spacebar and click enter. We will be using a, an existing project that we have created. So let's go to the test mask detection. So we will be setting our directory as public. So click enter. So click yes, um, no. Okay, so once it's initialized, you can actually open up your mass detection uh, folder over here. You'll be able to see your public. So when you click here, you'll be able to see this index.html uh, web. However, this is not what we want. So what we want is actually our own software, our mass detection software. So simply just go to my GitHub link over here and download the whole source code. Okay, so once you have downloaded it, so I have downloaded here, so you open this thing up and go to web demo over here. So what I'm interested in, right, is the index.html over here. 
So what I need to do is to open up my project folder, which is test mask detection. So, so over the public, I need to replace this index.html with my own program. So I'll replace it. Okay. So once you replace this, you need to add this static folder over here. Okay. So after doing so, uh, you need to change change a file path. So open this thing up with your text editor. So you scroll all the way down. You'll be able to see this dot dot static models and model dot json uh, folder. So instead of dot dot, you remove one of the dot over here. So just click save. And that's all. So now we need to deploy this folder to our website. So how we do this is to go back to our command prompt. So we just need to type Firebase deploy. Okay, so once it's deployed, you can actually go to this link and you'll be able to see the software. Okay, so just go to here and press enter. Okay, allow. And you can see that your program has been deployed online over here. So anyone with this link will be able to access your program easily. So with this, thank you for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.